Man, though, your bitch know. I'll let your bitch go, man. Hip hop lab, man. We got hip hop lab very young. Baby trying in the building. You know what the fuck going on? What's the deal, man, though? What's the deal, bro? This shit, man. This shit. It's crazy me and you to even do an interview, dog. Like, nigga, that shit. Niggas been asking me for the longest. Like, why you don't do no interview with Baby Tron? It's like me and you do an interview every day. Yeah, that don't even make sense. <laughs> we gonna make it happen, though. Yeah, for sure. So, what's good with you, bro? How you feeling right now? Shit, on top of the world, for real. Just dropped that Prince of the Men. Prince Trend, of the- Trending on YouTube. Trending on YouTube. Prince of the Men going crazy. And... Bro, uh, seeing your work that like it's some it's some it's some different shit. Cause like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You know, I didn't I didn't have the the privilege to be around like a lot of the shit that's, that that started that's going on right now. So I got to see like everybody different like come up and shit. And your shit just was like a little different. Like seeing you four years from now starting with you to now seeing all the shit you been able to accomplish. That shit is just wild as hell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I've just been working, bro. It's only been like two and a half years. Yeah, I, 20, yeah, because 2019, 2020, 2020, 2021. And we can't even count 2022, yeah. bro. Yeah. And we met like the end part of that. So, like, what? Three years. Yeah, like three years. So, like, what do you feel like is the uh, the main thing that really took your shit from like zero to a hundred like with, with y'all as the group like the shitty boys and shit just dropping so consistently bro you yeah. know just staying on it for sure yeah for we sure stayed on this so we was just on that for real yeah for sure yeah. for sure for sure motherfuckers like um um your shit like uh like niggas don't know you always like took real initiative like even this what I'm saying bro like of course like uh, when y'all boys did the contest and shit and won the contest when I did the hip hop yeah. and shit like that brought me the attention to y'all but like once I got to meet y'all niggas like I feel like even with the world like like once I got to meet y'all niggas when I seen y'all I got to meet y'all niggas I understood what it was like with you Stan Andy because like of course you the standout person right now you feel me like yeah. you know what I'm saying like you the head of the group. But it's just like niggas ain't really got the chance to really meet Stan and D yet. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's on the way though. Yeah. Shitty boys in the takeover for sure. Twenty twenty two heavy press. Yeah, I feel like once niggas really get to understand and and tap into their catalog, I feel like them niggas will have a, a whole different trajectory yeah, with they yeah, going for on. For sure, for sure. Yeah. But like, why you always took this shit so serious, bro? Like I feel like of course the hip hop lab. Help put you in front of the eyes of the people who you needed to see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the people who needed to see your shit. For sure, for but sure. I feel like even without me, bro, I feel like it would have took you a little longer. But you was gonna do music and be good at it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like for sure, for sure. Like I gotta say that. Like yeah. for sure, would have took a little bit longer. But you was gonna do this shit because it's really in you. Because you you care about this shit. For yeah, real. I was just working, bro. Like even before I met you, I was paying for videos, going to stand house, making songs every week, bro. So I I always been on that. I don't know. But I feel like once we met, it just brought, like, a structure to it. Like, niggas start dropping on iTunes. You know what I'm saying? Hell, yeah. I had real studios to go to and shit. Yeah, yeah. Everything. Videos. For sure, for sure. But look at this shit now, man. Where you feel like this shit about to go? Shit, to the Grammys. For sure, for sure. Number Uh, one on the charts. Just gonna heavy press all year. All decade. But how do how do you feel like like bro like me me having a hip hop lab like I said like you know the comments and shit be real like I just seen the comments change from when I first was posting your shit until now you feel me I seen a lot yeah. of the hate turning a little like you know yeah. what I'm saying how do you react to a lot of that shit Man, I just keep I just keep pushing bro I, love turning to hate hate turning to love at the end of the day I'm just working for me so I ain't even I don't care about no reaction or nothing for real. The nineteen beat, uh, B switch up though on the 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 Prince of Michigan man, like I was in the studio when you made it, but bro, like niggas don't know you be having a lot of crazy ass ideas, like just wild ass shit, like you yeah. know what I'm saying. So like once you told me, I'm like yeah, nigga, I came to the studio the next day. You was in the middle of making that bitch and niggas trying to figure out what beats to use and which ones to not, but. Why do some shit like that when you already coming off the biggest year of your life? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you always go that extra mile when you don't really got to. That's why, bro. Just, like, you know, just to do some shit like, damn, he just did that right after he just did that. Like, last album, I had a song with four beats. But 
So like that was enough. Fuck it, we gonna do nineteen, nineteen classics from here. So shit, fuck it, we just went with it, bro. You know how that shit went though. Like you said, we was just talking about it, and I just did it the next day for real. Yeah, yeah. Like, do you feel like uh, do you feel like Michigan? Like, of course, Michigan, like, you know, I'll I be with you a lot of the time, so it ain't nowhere in the United States that you go without getting recognized or getting some type of love. Yeah. But do you feel like the Michigan rap scene show you the the the, the same type of love that you show it? I don't know. Yeah, for the most part, for sure. Because, I mean, shit, whoever shows love is just genuine, so that's all I look for at the end of the day anyways. I ain't looking for no fake love or, you know, so. Whoever yeah. shows love, I just show love back, or the same way around, vice versa. So, for yeah, sure, yeah, I'm really tripping, bro. Like, how can you explain your mentality with this shit? Like, what's your mentality with coming up with the shit that you come up with, especially with punching in too? Like, just to always think about something different, just to always have a different like, rhyme scheme, you know. Just always think outside the box, bro. Like, got to keep going forward. So, I, Mamba mentality, bro. Shit, just keep working, keep thinking. Do you feel like LeBron James' legacy is being tarnished with this season? Yeah, oh no. Do you feel like this not taking away from nothing? No, no, for sure, no. He, bro, he done did too much already, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's already, up. it's already set in stone with what he's done. At this point, it's just people around him. So, what is Baby Tribe's all-time top five of the NBA? Basketball starting with players. point guard. Yeah, we're going to do point guard to center. Yo, yo starting five. Baby Tribe starting five. Curry at the one. Jordan at the two. Bron at the three. Dirk at the four, Shaq at the five. Damn. Okay, okay. That's a good starting five. Good starting yeah. five. I had to say, Russell Westbrook at the one. Um, I had to put uh uh uh. Who I'm gonna put at the two? I can't even. I'll put Clay at the two. I'll put my, uh, I'll put Miles Bridges at the three. You feel me? And then I'll put uh Wait, we talking about all I thought we were talking about all time. We talking about all time? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Then I'll put uh uh Then I got Julius Randle at the four and Yao Ming at the five. I think my team might win. <laughs> for sure, for sure. You might take an L in that, in that game. Well, we got, but all the people that I picked is all from they, the height of their areas, though. Like, they they all in their prime. But so are my players. Yeah, so what's up? We can set that up on 2K. Yeah, for sure. You know, my team, my favorite uh, motherfucking game mode on there anyway. It's on the floor. So, bro, like, who are some people that you want to collaborate with, man? Like, you done did shit with uh, with some of the biggest people in Detroit so far. But like, what about the industry? You want to do some shit with Drake? Hell yeah, yeah, Drake. That'd be fire. Drake. Um, what would a trying to Drake song sound like? That bitch would be fire. Yeah. <laughs> he can do the hook. I'm going to do the uh, verse. For sure. A lot of the shit you be sampling, like, like be from, like, TV shows and shit. Like, you watch a lot of TV and shit? I don't even watch no TV, for real. Just be I like used to, for sure, but just be in the back of my head, bro, from when I did watch TV. Photographic memory type shit. What's your favorite sitcom? I probably don't even got one. Sitcom? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I probably got a favorite TV show, maybe, if I think, but I don't know about sitcom. Martin or Fresh Prince? Fresh Prince Why is that? I don't know I watched it more So shit That's just what I went with How you feel about these Taco Bell wings trying? I ain't had them I ain't trying them 
You ain't gonna try him. No. Man. <laughs> I'm not eating Taco Bell, bro. I'm not going to Taco Bell, bro. Bro, you gonna try the wings with a one side, dog. Come on, man. No. You don't feel like they might be heat? There's no way they could be heat, bro. Yeah, like, do, do you feel like fast food places need to stick to what they do? Like, serve a certain one? Yeah, bro. Like, I don't even... So you fast food make my stomach hurt now. I ain't gonna lie. So you ain't had no Wendy's breakfast? Mm-mm. I never had that. You ain't had Taco Bell breakfast either? No. Because why would I ever go to Taco <laughs> Bell for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> No, you be eating some good ass shit though, bro. You be eating some good shit. I I, I could give you that, man. So, what, what's some of your favorite food spots? Yeah. A whole bunch of them. Man. I don't know. Fucking Hibachi Go. That's right up there. That shit elite. Yeah, Stan was telling me about that shit. I ain't gonna lie. That shit elite. Man, I be eating so much shit, bro. I can't even give you no favorites, bro. I can't even spill the sauce. Say so you don't want nobody popping up no bitch else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you you uh, did you watch Full House growing up? Not for real. No, you know Danny Tanner just passed. Yeah, R.I.P. Dwight for sure. Yeah, man, Full House. I feel like they had a fire ass uh, theme song though. I can't even remember it for. We might have to do something with that motherfucker. I ain't gonna. Uh, I gotta hear it. That bitch elite. Damn, dog. I hate. So, like, why, why you feel like you and Mark work so good together? Shit, we just got chemistry, bro. We just be in here working. We be on the same page, on the same mission. Make some good music. So, shit, that shit always work together. That's bro. So, we just be in here vibing. Like, how was you in school, bro? Like, was like you know what I'm saying? You 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 pretty popular now. Like, was you always a popular kid? Yeah, in school I was popular for sure, but. I don't know, like, I was looking for attention or nothing. I just dress good type shit. What's your favorite anime, bro? Probably Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is some elite ass shit. Yeah, probably got to go with Dragon Ball. Like, did you ever watch Naruto? A little bit, but I never finished it, though, so I can't really speak on it too much. For sure. What about video games, though? What's your favorite video game? <sighs> I used to play all the shit, bro. Like, I used to fuck with the, bro, all the GTAs, all the old Dev Jams. Back then, that's when video games was better to me. Like, fucking, bro. Why I can't think of that one racing game, Midnight Club. Midnight Club. It was all type of shit I used to play, bro. Because, like, nowadays, all I get is 2K, bro. Or, like, UFC, just some shit I can gamble on. Oh, no. I don't play no missions or campaign no more, so it's like I got to think of some old games. Man, you, you still got it in 2K, though? Hell yeah. You already know that, though. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's been a minute since we played, dog. It's been a minute since we played, dog. <laughs> yeah, we going to have to get one in for sure. For sure, for sure. We already talked about that, though. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. We going to play. Curry just, hit, just broke the motherfucking three-point record. You surprised? No. Do you feel like anybody else is going to surpass it after him? No. Maybe in like 30 or 40 years, but like, hell no. Not in the next like two to three? No. No. For sure not. Like, do you see how far ahead of everybody he is? Do you think Clay ever catch up? No. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Dog. <laughs> Bro, the, the 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 person drove into the Coney Island. Did you see that? That was janky as hell. Like, <laughs> what was you thinking when you you first seen that shit? Like, I'm happy I wasn't at that bitch getting a Peter and then like that would been crazy <laughs> getting a Peter and then. That's a, that's your favorite thing to get from Coney. That's top tier at that bitch for sure. The plan to never go Hollywood, like, you know, I see people, like, focus on that you said that you ain't want to leave Michigan. But, you know, Eminem never, Eminem stay in Michigan, too. So, like, how you feel about that? Why you feel like people so surprised about you saying that? I don't know. Like, shit, I've always been here, bro. So, I don't, like, I was never a person, like, I try, I'm trying to move to Hollywood and be an actor, you know, like, 
Shit, it is what it is. That's where I'm from. So I like the cold. I ain't gonna lie. I fucking hate the cold, but I'm used the, to it. Though. Yeah, and the weather all, though, like it come. I'm used to it, bro. So it's like, fuck. You know it. how we be going places and it be hot as hell there. Like they hot, just be different. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> like I like but, our hot. <laughs> like, how you feel about Twitter, dog? Because you know Twitter, Twitter be going. My Twitter be going crazy. Yeah, not even just your Twitter. Your name on Twitter alone, yeah. like. Motherfuckers is always tweeting about you. That should be wild, bro. I fuck with Twitter though. It's a whole different world on there. Like, what's the craziest thing that you seen on there? You just couldn't see everything on that bitch. They didn't say I'm better than every rapper on that bitch on earth. So how do you feel when when, when these people on Twitter be having when it be having like ten thousand retweets and all these all this crazy ass shit about like baby trying is the greatest rapper of all time? Like, like this shit on the flow. They already know what the fuck going on. Do, 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 do it do it do it make you uh get the big head a little bit? No, I for sure bro. Nah. I'll be chilling, bro. It's just like I worked for this, so it's working for it. Still. For sure, man. What's going on with the shitty boys, man? Update the people. Man, album dropping very soon. Trifecta. Shit on the flow, for real. Like twenty songs of fire, something like that. I don't remember the exact number. What do you feel like is your most slept on song? Mm. I don't know, bro. My most slept on song. What you think it is? I don't know, bro. I feel like I feel like it's probably uh. I I don't even know if it's slept down, but my favorite song by you, one of one of my favorites was Show Dead Man Walking, no cat. You was talking Crunch Rap Supreme on that bitch. I, I I'm sick you had to come to Crab Break ever fresh on this bitch. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, it man. Was parched in this bitch. Why 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 like like was you surprised that, that shit was so crazy? People with the Crab Break ever it, fresh? It'd be anything, bro, like anything. That's why I don't be surprised, but it just be like so, the most random shit, bro. Like they was going viral with that shit on Twitter. You you know you know this is this is really random, dog. This is a random shit. What I'm about to say, bro. But you know who I think you would make a crazy ass song with? Who? Ludacris. I just knew you wasn't gonna say him. <laughs> like <laughs> Luda, baby, trying to Luda. That might be fire. Say like you would do that bitch. Put for it sure. on the flow, yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite old school song? Hey, yeah, uh, Outkast. Mm. You fuck with Andre Three Thousand and Big Boy. That shit, yeah, that shit was something for sure. Yeah, I mean, that that's that's something that people don't know. So Andre Three Thousand and Baby Tron. Yeah, with that on the floor. That'd be lit. Yeah, that'd be some shit for sure. Mm. If you had to choose between. Having super speed or being able to fly, which one would you pick? Flying. Why? Because I could fly as fast as I want. <laughs> but like when you're on the ground, you just moving regularly, though. You might hit some shit, all type of shit. They moving too fast. Yeah. Fuck around and fuck up. Hit your toe on the couch or something. What's the What's the best? Uh, <laughs> what's the best? The best the shoes to you? Like, what What, what What's your favorite shoe? Shit, Crocs. Do you feel like you 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 was a big uh uh factor in popularizing Crocs? Hell yeah, I've been doing the Crocs, bro. I was doing the Crocs before a lot of motherfuckers, bro. Besides before like nine tenths of the earth. Yeah, cause it's crazy, nah. Like it's super commercialized, nah. Like that shit, wild. Yeah, I've been on the Crocs though. What's what's some shit? What's some shit that's just not acceptable <laughs> in your studio session? Man, what's some shit that somebody could do in the studio with you that didn't make you tell them to get the fuck out the studio? <laughs> reaching, if I catch you reaching for a tail, like finish him, like you're finished. <laughs> <laughs> so what's wrong? With you? you won't let a nigga reach for a tail, like bro. You say you might want that, but. 
It's like, what's going on? <laughs> like, what is you doing? Yeah. Why are you over there just, just like, over there? You didn't there? ask to hit the wood. Like, I was going to tell you no, but it was like, you didn't ask to hit the wood or nothing, though. But that shit unacceptable. No, but what's really unacceptable, though? Like, bro, just bullshit, bro. Like, bullshit. Like, can't, you know it be bullshit going on sometimes at the studio. So, just, yeah. like, not in my room or not in my session, so. Do do you you feel like you feel like shit? Do you feel like you got better as a rapper once we got the studio? For sure, just more comfortable, you know, just working more, getting in the studio every day, literally. So that's all there was, bro. Yeah, for sure, for sure, though. Like, come here whenever, for real. What's the biggest reaction that just surprised you uh, from your family? Like, since you've been blowing up, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. They always say some crazy shit. Like, like my granny seen the news though. Like, and I didn't even tell her I was on it yet. But like, that was crazy because it was just like you know that happened that night. She had seen it. So. Once, once y'all, well, like, like once you had told your family like you was rapping, like you know how it'd be like with the mix, mix uh reaction. Like, well, like all right, trying up behind <laughs> you. Like, well, make sure you got a backup plan. Like, <laughs> what, 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 what was they saying? And she, it was just. That shit on me for real. I'm grown, so I don't know. Whatever they were saying, I was still in my own lane at the same time. So yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying, but you know, you know, you know how niggas still be wanting like hey, people to be proud of what they doing, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But of course they. This, I'm I'm saying like they are they proud of you now that you. No, doing yeah, this? for yeah, sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, bro, Rolling Stone magazine, bro, being in Rolling Stone, bro, like. You can go physically buy a copy of a magazine and see yeah, yourself in anyway. it. Like, like that's wild. What it's was crazy. your initial reaction to that? I didn't even know. I I knew it was that big, but I didn't know it was like at every store like that. So that shit really is crazy. For real. What's some other accolades that you that you that you want in this shit? I know you said Grammys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just plaques, bro. You know Grammys, plaques, awards, all that shit, bro. Just be winning off this shit. Well, like Ben Reaper too, man. Like, tell me once you put out that twenty-seven song CD and you seen the reaction to it. Like, what was going through your mind when some motherfuckers were saying it's like the biggest album of the year? Shit, that's how I was feeling before I dropped it. So, I was just working, bro. I knew it was a special moment, special piece of work. So, that's why I named it Ben Reaper too. So. Yeah, I was happy for the response though, bro. It did more than what I thought it would do, of course, though. Like, how how was you feel? How was you feeling about Rolling Stone ranking it that hot? Man, as they should though. Should have been number one. It's gonna be number one next year. So, yeah, like, and they ranked it higher than Don than CLB. Hey, we talking about we got those some heavy hitters, bro. Yeah, that's real life. Yeah, that's real life pool right there. That's some shit. I ain't gonna lie. Top ten albums of the year. Shit heat, shit heat. We, we got we got to get some shit on two K, like the next two K that drop. Yeah, a song. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All the basketball punch lines and shit, it only makes sense. So do doing who, who's some other basketball players that you want to collaborate with on some on some music shit? Shit, we could do Dame Lillard. For sure. Baby Dame. trying to Dame. Yeah. Okay. Gotta get T R D on the song too though. Oh yeah, for sure. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Gotta have D on there. Yeah. That's yeah. You gotta yeah. get T R D on there. You gotta have T R D on there for sure. But yeah, dang, literally, that's about it. On top of my head, why? Like, uh, uh, how did you and Stan meet? Like, what's the actual story of y'all meeting? Shit, I don't know Stan for a little minute, bro. <laughs> like, kids type shit, bro. So had I had class like, together type shit. Like, that's it. Like, so y'all had it, class together, and y'all was just like, we was always cool. Like, we was never like. Best friends, bro, but we was, like, like growing up, like, younger. We was never, like, best friends, but then it just eventually became that because we was always cool. And, like, we was never on no fuck shit to each other. And it was just, we just, the, like, we have, like, 
we had a class together, but then like the next year we had three classes together, you know, so you just get closer to somebody type shit. But I know Stan forever though, bro. That's my dog for sure. How is how is Ipsy or like how is that shit? Like, that shit normal as hell, bro. Like <laughs> any other city, bro. Like, I don't know. That shit janky at the same time. Do you feel like you could possibly be like the biggest rapper of the generation? Like these tweets be like putting a like I ain't gonna lie, bro. You better than me, cause motherfuckers, the shit I be doing, like you know what I'm saying with the interview shit. If I was, if I was doing interviews and every day a motherfucker was, was just putting that much pressure on a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't feel that shit when you be rapping. <laughs> No, I don't be feeling that shit, bro. Cause shit, that's how they feel. So that's how I'm gonna make them feel. That's how I'm gonna keep going with this shit. To, I'm gonna be the goat. So, oh, what's your favorite backwood, bro? Probably Russian cream, bro. Right now, is is cause they they those those like the best in shape. Yeah, they just be getting the highest percentages of being straight on them. Like <laughs> three out of five would be good. Four out of five would be good. Like you know, uh, you revealed that you was uh, biracial. Yeah, you know, black and white. For the people who don't know what biracial, is. <laughs> you know, we got a lot of people like that. We got to break that down. <laughs> so, like, a couple of selected people would say the only reason why you was going crazy is because of the way you look or because you white, mm. and then they find out you have black, and then. You know that that the de- debuts that hating that shit. Yeah. So when they say that it's just because of the way you look, what do you say to that? There's so many people who look like me or <laughs> out there who try to rap, bro, that y'all don't know about, bro. Like I swear, like for real. And then you listen to this shit and figure out that you actually sweet. So did what you say to that? Like, like damn, like yeah. oh damn, the nigga actually sweet though. Like yeah. For sure, bro. I don't give a fuck what they talking about. That's some hating ass shit. <laughs> so, bro, if you could uh, talk to everybody who been supporting you up to this point, what would you say to them? Man, keep supporting me because it's only some light shit that's happened so far compared to what's going to happen. This shit heavy press all 2022, all decade. Like I said, I'll keep going with this shit. What's some of your goals for the decade for us to, <laughs> for us to look back <laughs> on this interview and look at? What's some shit you're trying Grammys. to accomplish? Okay. Plaques, awards, shit, legacy. Like you gonna be like baby trying, like household name, you know. For sure, like for sure. Yeah. Hey man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm excited for this motherfucking year, bro. You know, we got a lot of shit. Uh niggas working on, bro. You feel me? Hell yeah. Yeah, this shit. This on shit. The flow. On the flow, on the flow, man. Who's some other uh, people that you wanna that you wanna shout out? Who are some people that that who are some people that was in your position that you was in three years ago that they might not know about yet, but you know what I'm saying? All they need is that little uh, you know what I'm saying, to get on that shit, you feel me? And it could possibly be somewhere at somewhere where you at three years from now. Who I'm fucking with? Long story short, yeah. On the rap shit? Yeah. Shitty boys. Y'all gotta know them. If you don't, I don't know how you don't know them. Scrumble man. Scrumble man. Scrumble man. Um well I just um Bank Rowries. That's I fuck with my dog shit, bro. Y'all gotta tap in with my dog, Bank Rowries. Um I fuck with a lot of people shit, bro. Tilly. <laughs> Tilly. Oh yeah. Shout yeah. out Tilly. Shout out Tilly. Man, J one hundred. J one hundred. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Bro, like we would have been here all day, yeah, bro. Yeah, we'd be in this bitch all, all day, bro. Explain to me. The relationship with you and this unky that you keep talking about. Oh, dog. my God. I can't speak on unky. <laughs> you can't speak on unk, man. Uh, like, like, just know he around this bitch at all times. Uh, unk around this bitch at all times. Yeah. He be tripping. For sure. How was his life growing up? Like, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Did he drop out of school? Yeah. Like how is Unk dealing with the new fame that he didn't got from being mentioned in all these songs? See, he laying low. That he he like, just like every, all they say is unky, so it's yeah. just like he just unky. It's, but, you know, it's a lot of unkies around this bitch, so he can lay low for real. But like, but but your unky know that you talking about him, so yeah. when he hear it, do he be like, hell yeah, yeah good looking yeah. type yeah. shit? Yeah, for sure. That's fire. That's fire. <laughs> What's the craziest fan reaction you have had so far? Man, too many, bro. Like, 
The craziest one though. I don't know, bro. It'd be like I just get caught anywhere, any moment, bro. That should be crazy. Like Do you feel like you got a real recognizable face? Yeah, for sure, bro. Yeah. Hey man, look. Hey Tron, it's crazy that it, it didn't took us this long to do an interview. I swear. Like it's shit really wild, but like I said, bro, I talk to you every day, so it's like we always do interviews and shit. Yeah, it was time though. <laughs> yeah, Get on camera for sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. Hey man, this the first, but for sure not the last interview with my dog, Baby Tron, Shitty Boys. This shit on the floor, man. You know what the fuck going on? Hip hop live shit. <laughs>